There's no exemption at Home Depot? Is that what you're telling me? There's no exemption at Home Depot? Is there an exemption at Home Depot, sir? I don't want to talk to you. Okay? I'm asking you a question as a customer. Is there an exemption for Home Depot? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. So I didn't need to. Hmm? No, no, no. He's, he doesn't want to contend with you. You're, you're fine. You go ahead. You're wearing a mask. You're safe. Out of many jerks. So check out the jerks. You know what? Here's the problem. I I appreciate what you've done. Yep. Right? You explained to me that an exemption at Home Depot does apply to people with medical exemptions as well as exemptions that are listed by the bylaw of the city of Markham. Mm -hmm. This gentleman here was highly disrespectful to me. I was simply asking for clarification if Home Depot does not allow for exemptions to the mass bylaw. He was very disrespectful to me. He waved me off, highly disrespectful. And uh, instead of just answering the question, he was telling me to go to customer service in a very disorderly, disrespectful manner. And there was another lady here, she, before I spoke with you, that said that there was no exemptions at Home Depot. And I, I said there, what are you talking about? There's a bylaw for the city of Markham that provides for exemptions. So how are you saying that there's no, there's no exemptions? Absolutely. As you said, there's no exemptions. So, so what am I supposed to believe? But, and, and it's actually listed right outside the building that there are exemptions Absolutely here. So true. how is staff not aware so of this? So after, after you checked out and after I processed your order, yes. I actually made a point to speak with them. I coached them yes. on what the policy is. Right. So it, it's right there. 100%. So yeah. you're not in the wrong. Okay. Um, and I explained to them what our process is, the way that I handled it, yeah. in the sense that, you know, I asked you to keep your distance and yeah. I can't force you to wear yeah. one. And I respected that. 100%. You need to speak to that gentleman right there. And I'm using that term very loosely yeah, to that older guy right there. He was very disrespectful. I have it recorded on here if you want to see it. Okay? I understand. And right. leave it to me. I'll put my associates about it. Right. I apologize for the experience that you had. Right, because they don't, they don't know my history. Absolutely. Right? He, he has no clue what my history is. And nor did that lady. I don't know who she was. She, I don't know where she is. She might have been that lady right Absolutely. there. But I'm just so I'll make sure that I, if I already coached them, I'll yeah. make sure I address it and... We'll circle back on our policy. Again, I apologize for the negative. Thank you, brother. Time. I appreciate but that. Just, again, just let people know I have yeah, a I, I understand. Like, well, if, if, if you don't have, I think it was her as well. If you don't have the mask, you, you, you keep a certain distance if you have an exemption. And I've respected that. I haven't gone up in, in, into anyone's space. Absolutely. But I also expect that employees of this company recognize that there are exemptions to the mask bylaw. 100%. It's not that now, complicated. You know what? We're actually, we've had multiple training. Everyone needs to do it. Again, I apologize. Um, for the experience you had, you, don't need, why you don't need to apologize mm -hmm. any further, but I thank you for that, brother. Yeah, it's kind of like sure. if you're that afraid of COVID, yeah. then stay home. That would be my attitude. I understand, sir. Stay home or put on an asthmat suit, you know? Absolutely. Thanks a lot, brother. I, apologize I appreciate it. You don't need to. I appreciate what you've okay. done. Thank you very much. Thank Have you. a good day. So, you need to work out your issues.